Whoa, did you guys see the teaser poster for the next Harley Davidson bike review event? Looks like it's official. On July 13, 2021, Harley will be announcing their new motorcycle that is also powered by none other than the Revolution Max. The part I'm most excited for is the teaser headline that says, From Evolution to Revolution. From previous episodes, I mentioned a couple times that the Revolution Max engine will replace the long-time running Evolution engine that's within the Sportster line. But when Harley was showcasing their new 2021 lineup back in January, I was expecting for them to show the new version of Sportster championing the Revolution Max engine, but instead, we ended up with the same Sportsters with different type of color schemes. And the kicker was that these Sportsters will be only sold in countries that meet the emission standards. Then, after a few months, I started to hear rumors from different Harley Davidson dealerships that 2021 will be the last year for Evolution Sportsters. And then I started to get excited again. But wait, you might be thinking, hey yo, KS, why are you getting so excited about Harley getting rid of Sportsters? Don't you own a Sportster? Well guys, listen, I do adore my Iron 883, and I love the way it feels, the way it sounds, thanks to the Evolution engine. But I also tested out the new 2021 Pan America, which has the 1250 Revolution Max engine on it. And although I only got to ride it for 20 minutes, I gotta tell ya, it's a wicked machine. The way that 145 horsepower V-twin liquid cooled engine responded when I pulled on that throttle, it felt so crisp and powerful that I wanted to keep accelerating. If I compare that feeling to the feelings that I got from riding other motorcycles that had the Milwaukee 8 engine or the Ducati 110 horsepower L-Twin engine, the Revolution Max performed equally if not better. And I'm saying that because I only got 20 minutes out of it. I'm hoping that once I get more chance to ride the Pan America, I can give you guys a better impression about the Revolution Max engine, but so far, it's, it's a good contender. And in my honest opinion, the Revolution Max is the answer to its competitors in the small displaced motorcycles such as Indian Scout, Indian FTR, Honda Rebels, Yamaha Bolt, and the many versions of Scramblers out there. Whether Harley decides to make these Revolution Max bikes in its own lineup with a new name or rebrand the Sportster lineup, the important part is that the Harley is not out of the small engine game yet. Now, with that said, I can tell you that the Revolution Max will not impress or win over any of the hardcore Harley fans out there wanting that traditional rumble and shake from previous Sportsters or the beloved Dynas. This engine is designed to target those who want performance, high tech, and something new or fresh. Based on my riding experience with the Pan America 1250 Special, the Revolution Max engine has more of a purr sound. Throughout the years, the concept motorcycles that had Revolution Max engines were Pan America, the Custom 1250, the Bronx Street Fighter 950, 1250, and the unnamed Flat Tracker. And as you can see, only one of these bikes made it to the finish line so far. And on the 13th of July this year, we will soon find out what other Revolution Max bike made it to the finish line. And based on the teaser image, it looks like it's going to be the Custom 1250, but perhaps with a new name. And let's face it, calling the bike Custom 1250 is kind of lame. The hint is their tagline, which says, From Evolution to Revolution, which strongly suggests that Harley may be parting ways with the Evolution engine and creating a new generation of liquid-cooled, high-performance Sportsters. Perhaps a Sportster 950 and Sportster 1250, who knows? And listen, I'm not expecting Game of Thrones level of plot twists or surprises from this event. Harley marketing is quite predictable. So what I'm expecting from this is a Harley Davidson to showcase a named version of the Custom 1250, maybe a mention of how the Livewire series will now be separated into its own brand called Livewire Electric Vehicles or Livewire EV, and then end it with a great cheer of Hip Hip Parade. Now, the little twist that I'm holding my breath for is perhaps the announcement of reigniting the Bronx Project, the Street Fighter motorcycle series that can go head-to-head -head with the metric naked motorcycles, scramblers, and the Indian FTR. If Harley brings back the Bronx Project, I think it would be a very bold statement to the world that Harley is definitely moving on the offense and targeting other categories of motorcycles other than cruisers. And they already did that with the Adventure Touring segment with Pan America, and they're doing a great job so why not go after the naked bikes or the scramblers i think this twist will draw a lot of attention from non-harley riders and i think it will really go well for them 
In the end, I'm just excited that Harley is actually pushing the envelope with the Revolution Max engine because at a certain point, I thought they're gonna cancel all of it. Given the fact that its previous version of the Revolution Max engines didn't do so well in the Harley community, such as the Revolution X engine that was in the street rods and the original Revolution engine that was in the V rods. So the fact that Harley pushed forward with the Pan America and then the next big bike, which is the custom 1250 or whatever they're gonna end up calling it. And hopefully they have other projects lined up for the 950cc bike because that's what I'm most excited about. After riding my Iron 883, I am a huge fan of under 1000cc motorcycles. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button so you can help support this channel. And as always, ride safe, ride prepared, ride on. Peace.